Ito na mga order nyo, isang nilagat sinigang. <coughs> Enjoy po kayo. Ay, miss. Yes? Feast ba? Iyon? Ay, oo. Oh, oh. Grabe, masarap ang cheese bread doon. Gusto niyo sumali? Oo, sana. Pero okay lang ba first timer kami doon? Ay, oo naman. Eh kung lahat kayo pumunta doon, game ako! Ano ba meron dyan? Anong gagawin natin doon? Jandy, may talk doon sa feast. Ay. Okay, sagot ko na pang masahe. Totoo ba? May worship po doon? O di kaya may misa? Oo, meron din doon. Talaga? Gina kayo? Lahat tayo pupunta doon. Saan ba? Valle Verde. Okay, ready na kami mag-face doon. Finally, the all-new Feast mobile app is here. 
Reflect daily with prayer devotionals. Watch the Feast Series Talks. Get to know our Catholic faith more with prayers and devotions. Pray on your own. Pray with a whole family. Pray with a feast community. Be equipped in your service with our discipleship resources. Read and find wisdom for different aspects of your life with our growth plans. Journal your thoughts and prayers and write your dreams. Let the Feast app be your spiritual community. Finally, do you want to enrich your home or village with goodness and hope? Do you want to inspire your office or business with abundance of faith? Do you want to bless and love the world wherever you may be? Then, the Feast Light is for you. What is the Feast Light? It is a gathering of two or more people watching a series of life transforming talks given by Brother Bo Sanchez and Feast Builders. God has a mission for your life. He created you for a purpose. And what purpose? To shine His light to others. To give His love to the people who are spiritually hungry, who are lost, who are drowning, who do not know where to go or what to do with their life. But your mission is to bring them closer to Jesus. How? Scan the QR code flashed on the screen. You can also register at the Feast Light Table or contact Tristan and Diane Almeda at 0918-959-8826. Start a Feast Light now. To keep the solemnity of the Holy Mass, may we request all cell phones be switched off or to be put in silent mode. For parents who brought their children, kindly attend to them while the Mass is ongoing. Thank you for your cooperation. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist, the solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ. The Eucharist is the source and summit of our Christian life. In this sacrament, Jesus gives his body and blood to be our food unto eternal life. With the slimming bread, we experience Jesus' salvation and God's peace. Receive power to give ourselves in loving service and gain strength for our spiritual journey. When we gather in Jesus' name at the Eucharist, we proclaim that we are truly God's people. Our presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Kip Di Matata, SSP. Peace all rise and greet our Mass celebrant, and let us glorify the Lord by singing the entrance song.
Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. And a blessed Sunday. Blessed we begin Sunday. our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and, and in what, what I have failed, failed to do. Through, through my fault, through, through my, my fault, fault through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. When God first made the covenant with the Israelites of Sinai, the covenant was ratified with the blood of animals to show that God meant to share in the life and destiny of the chosen people. The first reading. 
A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, we will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and 12 pillars for the 12 tribes of Israel. Then having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in a large bowl. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, all that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, this is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all those words of his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you I will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. The new covenant mediated and ratified by Christ through the pouring of his own blood on the cross is most pleasing to the Father and effective in cleansing sin. The second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God. For this reason, he is mediator of a new covenant, since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant. Those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise from the proclamation of the Holy Gospel.
I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover, Jesus' disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. Make the preparations for Esther. The disciples then went off entered the city and found it just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, he took bread, said a blessing, broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. We're now on the first Sunday of the second half of the year. How time flies. We Filipinos are known for our fondness to feast. Do you agree with that? On almost every occasion, we find reason to gather and celebrate and to feast. Someone's birthday, someone's anniversary, now is the graduation season and other important events in our life. And one time, I was invited to celebrate the birthday of their pet <laughs> because they want to gather and celebrate that because they treat their pet as their family. And one time, a foreigner friend of mine was able to attend a championship wake mass. Do you know the championship? Yung huling gabi salamay. They call it championship because with the gamblings and everything, it's like championship. <laughs> and people are like, is there our last chance to bet and to gain something? So is there a championship? And they said that even in the death of someone, it feels like a feast, parang fiesta. And in some areas, they even have karaoke to celebrate that last night of the dead. Feasts and celebrations are deeply embedded and our ways and culture, celebrations without, cannot be completed, not without table fellowship. Hindi ko lang sure yung pagsasharon if it's really embedded also in our culture. But more than the sharing of the food, table fellowship is also about sharing of joys and success, of pains and sorrows of one's life. Table fellowship means we are sharing in the story, in the life of that someone. Hindi ba kapag meron tayong kaibigan, meron silang problema, we invite them to dine out or to have some coffee. Tara, kape tayo. It means we want to hear them. We want to be part of the story. We want to share in what undertakings they are going through. It means we want to be part of their life. Kaya nga tayo minsan, hindi ba, nagtatampo tayo 
kapag kapag hindi tayo na invite sa isang gathering not because hindi tayo mabibigyan ng Shanghai open seat but most especially we feel that we are not an important part of their life we feel that we are being left out na hindi tayo parte ng kanilang buhay hindi tayo parte ng kanilang istorya kapag hindi tayo invited thus to partake in the feast is to express our communion our sharing in the stories and in the life of the others it means we are becoming friends we have relationship with that person who is inviting us to that table fellowship just like the covenant relationship between God and man in our first reading in our first reading we have heard the first covenant between God and man when after praying together with all the tribes of the Israelites with the 12 tribes signifying the 12 stones and altars that Moses built Moses ratified a covenant relationship with God and man and so interesting on how this ritual how this covenant was made so after the prayers after conversing with the Lord Moses took the half of the blood of the Holocaust and sprinkled on the people and then sprinkled in on the altar because blood means life and it means a covenant to life and to union again with God. Good thing the old covenant is over. Kung hindi, bibisikan pa rin kayo ng, ng dugo, ng hayop for us to ratify that covenant. But in here, now we have a different kind of blood and we have different kind of covenant. It is now through this bloodless sacrifice that we are celebrating through the Holy Eucharist. As you said in our second reading, it is no longer the blood of the sheep or a heifer. It is now the blood of that God who loved us so much, who offered himself, that is now being poured upon us for our covenant, for our salvation, for our relationship with the Lord, so that we again will be reunited and become in communion with the Lord but we ask why why do we need this kind of covenant why do we need this kind of rituals that that unites God and people again because if you're going to remember that relationship was broken it was broken by our forefathers when out of their pride disobedience and selfish desire they broke the commandment of God and what did they do Anong ginawa nila? they ate the forbidden fruit they ate what was forbidden that was there in the garden God said you can eat from the tree of life but from the tree of knowledge and evil you cannot eat but they were tempted and out of their desire they ate of that fruit and eating of that fruit signifies their defiance of God that they themselves wanted to be God themselves because of their pride because of their disobedience they were expelled from the presence of the Lord they were driven out of the garden expelled from the presence of the Lord but we know that without God we are nothing we cannot sustain, we cannot nourish, we cannot continue to live. We will die without God in our life. And so it is said, according to this spiritual writer, God found a creative way to put out the tree of life out of the garden and bring it nearer to us so that we can still feed, we can still nourish, and we can still live. And so, from the tree of the cross now we can still partake of the fruit that gives us life that nourishes us that sustains us in our life through that offering of christ he brought us the tree of life so that we can have life 
so that we can again be reconciled with God and be in communion with the Lord. And thus, the disruptive plan of God by eating of disobedience is now being restored again by eating, by consuming, and being sustained by God's life. And so whenever we eat from this fruit from the cross, we express our repentance, our dependence, our humility, our desire to be in communion again with God. And we ratify and mend that broken relationship until we are finally in full communion with the Lord. That's why we call it communion. Because we again mend that broken relationship between God and man. And that is a grace that we are receiving every time that we go to the Eucharist. Every time that we receive God in Christ to the appearance of bread and wine. It is the grace of God being poured upon us so that we again will have salvation to be in communion again with God. And that's why I kept reminding uh, the penitents who come to me in confession to have that discernment that if they feel that their, that their need for God is greater than their sins, then they should have that kind of discernment to go with all humility and with all courage to receive the Lord. Because the Eucharist is not the price for the righteous. It is a remedy to sin. It is a remedy for our woundedness. It is a remedy for our brokenness. It is what sustains us amidst our weakness, amidst our sinfulness. It is what gives us salvation. And there's a saint who said, if you only understand what grace there is in receiving communion, we will desire and long for it with all our life, more than anything else in the world because of the grace, because of what God is giving us. That's why we consider it a sin if we do not go to Sunday Mass. Because, not because Sunday Mass is for God, but it is for us. There's so much grace and love that God wants for us to receive in this Eucharist. Sabalit mahirap kapag ayaw natin tanggapin yung pag-ibig ng Diyos, hindi ba? At masakit para sa isang nagmamahal na ayaw tanggapin ang ating minamahal yung ating pag-ibig. That's why we go to Mass to receive and partake of this communion. The second and last point that we want to reflect in this Sunday in the solemnity of the Corpus Christi is that the saying, we become what we eat. Do you believe in that? That we become what we eat. We are configured to what we consume. Not in a way na kumain ka ng maraming baboy, although siguro tataba ka, but not in a way like that. But we configure ourselves to what we consume. When we occupy our minds, our hearts, our desire with all these things, we become like what we eat. We become what we consume in ourselves. And so, in this Eucharist, in every Sunday that we go, every time that the priest tells us the body of Christ, the priest doesn't only refer to that bread, to that body of Christ. The priest also refers to us, to everyone who receives that body of Christ, that we may too become the body of Christ, that we may be configured to what we consume. When we consume the body of Christ, we too become that body of Christ. And becoming body of Christ, we too should become food for others. Hindi literal na kainin yung kapwa. But we should become food for other people too. A nourishing food, a life-giving food, a sustaining food to other people. That in what we receive, we too may give to other people to become body, to become bread, to become nourishment to other people. And so we ask ourselves, what kind of food are we? What kind of sustenance are we giving to other people? Or are we a kind of bitter food? Are we a kind of sickening food? 
Are we kind of stale food? Walang lasa? O tayo yung nagbibigay ng sakit sa ating community, sa ating kapwa? What kind of food are we? And so in this Mass and this solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, we are called to become food for others too, to become nourishment, to become sustaining, life-sustaining and life-giving to others that as we receive the body of Christ, we too may become what we eat. We may give life, we may give inspiration, we may give even the means of salvation for other people that we may become truly the body of Christ alive today. Amen. May God bless us all. Please rise. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him, all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered that it was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Pray of the faithful. Let us pray to God, our Father, that our Eucharistic celebration may truly be a sign of unity, brotherhood, and sharing in Jesus' name as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and deacons proclaim by their lives the meaning of the sacred mysteries they celebrate. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the body and blood of Christ heal all the divisions among the Christian churches and bind them together in love and service so that one day all may sit as at one Eucharistic table. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us grow in faith through our service and be credible signs of God's presence to others. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. May the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, and those burdened with trials and difficulties be comforted with the hope and presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May our departed brothers and sisters come to share the banquet of everlasting life. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the prayer intention of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the month of June, we pray that migrants fleeing from war or hunger, forced to undertake journeys full of danger and violence, find welcome and new opportunities in countries that receive them. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the Feast Ortigas District, Feast Valle Verde, our district builder, feast builders, leaders, and servants, may we strongly unite towards making disciples according to the direction set by our regional builders, aligned with Brother Bo's vision for the feast. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and for one another's intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. God, our Father, we thank you for the sacrament of our salvation. Help us to worship you with lives put out in loving service for the sake of our brethren. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We will now have the offering of the bread and wine 
symbols of the fruit of our hard-earned labor of the week. Please join in the singing of the offertory song. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in the mystery and the offerings we here present. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Last Supper with His Apostles, establishing for ages to come, receiving memorial of the cross. He offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that based in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Milo Hubert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now gathered as one family, we now pray the very prayer Jesus himself taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the bread of life, is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For orderly communion, please be seated and wait for the ushers to guide you. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please rise. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in the chair in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The feast will continue with a powerful worship and an inspiring talk after the Mass. Please stay with us and be blessed even more. There will be no confession this afternoon. We praise and thank the Lord for sending Father Kim for celebrating the Holy Mass with us. Thank you, Paul Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those you call to strive for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We would like to call on all the June celebrants to please come in front for you to be prayed over. Also din po yung mga merong wedding anniversary for this month para po mabless kayo ni Father. Also those celebrating their anniversaries this June, yung mga June bride. So we raise our right hand for them. Heavenly Father, bless your servants who commemorate this month, their birthday, and their anniversaries. May you continue them, allow them, bless them, and continue to them to grow in love. Heavenly Father, we ask you to continue to bless them with family and friends, life and love. Heavenly Father, may their hearts grow more stronger and bonded together in communion with one another and with you. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless them and grant them many more years to come, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
What's up, Feast Valley Verde family? Make some noise! Please be seated for a while and focus your attention on the screen in front. Calling all youth in the house, we invite you to our youth corner happening every week after feast, where there are blessings, stories, and more. Feel free to bring your siblings, classmates, and friends who are you too. See you there. Calling all the singles. Join the FBV Singles Ministry for Safe Space, a weekly quick get-together after the feast session to meet new people, interact with others, and talk about things. It's a safe space for everyone. Hope to see you there. The Feast Ortigas District Youth Ministry is having their annual youth camp, the Camp Calle. Calle means choose a life you'll embrace. And through this camp, we hope to help young people build strong foundations for their faiths through scripture, authentic friendships, and fun activities. The youth members are raising funds for this event, and if this cause resonates with you and aligns with your giving goals, please consider donating through the GCash QR code flash on the screen. Any amount you can contribute among the choices shown on the screen is greatly appreciated. Or sponsor a camper and shoulder all the three days and two nights cost by sending 3,000 pesos. Help us send the youth to Camp Kalye. Thank you and may our good God bless you. Help others strengthen their faith journey as you strengthen yours. Be a feast light planter and help someone get to know Jesus more. Scan the QR code on the screen to register it for a feast light quick start or approach the feast light table near the entrance. To download our latest feast bulletin, you may scan the QR code on the screen. Thank you. Introducing Table Talks, Community Recipes of Love. What we'll need? A cup of unconditional love, a pinch of forgiveness, generous portions of grace, a Let us all stand up and come to worship. Can be described in three verb tenses. 
give a big hand to their worship team, everybody. And to the dance ministers. And to the band. Let's give the Lord a big, 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 big shout of praise! Let's sing it. Paano magsha-shout of praise pagka bilyonaryo ka na, bless ka na, approved na yung mga applications mo, answered yung prayers mo. Let's give the Lord a shout of praise! Yeah. Hallelujah! If you're close to the person beside you, put your arm around that person. Pag di kayo close, magpaalam. Sabihin mo, do you know, you know what? All your dreams will come true someday. Come on. Oh yes. Walang dahilan para hindi. Especially if your dream is noble. Especially your dream will bless other people. To those who have just come in, first time attendees, my name is Bamboo. My name is Obed Cabrillas. And we are speaking in series now. The series called Feels. Can you tell the person beside you, feels? Feels! You like the feels around here? Yes! Salamat pala sa mga tatay, sa mga nag-drive para sa pamilya, nag-park sa malayo, dinaanan ng init, makarating lang dito, palakpakan ang mga bayani ng bawat pamilya. Are you growing through each of the talk? Yes! Okay, today, may pag-uusapan tayo na napakahalaga at pumalakpak ka pag naramdaman mo na yan sa katabi mo. It speaks about envy or ang version nito na selos or jealousy. Pagka naramdaman mo nagselos na yung katabi mo, sa'yo o kumbaga kahit kanino pumalakpa ka kung naramdaman mo nang na-feel niya na yun, okay. I think we're gonna pray. Let us come before the presence of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Please raise up both hands and full surrender. And do not attend the feast with only your prayers. Pray for your company, pray for your business, pray for your past, pray for your present, pray for your future, pray for your concern. Akala mo ba hindi sinusold ni Lord yung concern mo? Your mere attendance today is telling the enemy, God is in charge and I will hear the word of God. And God is taking care of all my business, all my concern. Even as you attend today, there's no time wasted if you are in the Lord. So together we declare, today I receive all of God's love for me. Limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Here we go. God's beloved, I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. Because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name, and you will say, Amen. Give the Lord a big, big hand, everybody. the scripture, I will give the context. May dalawa sa popular, maraming mga anak si Adan at si Eva, pero ang pinaka-popular ay si very good. Si Cain at si Abel. <laughs> Ngayon, yung dalawa, nagkaselosan. Sabi mo sa katag mo, ayan. Kasi yung isa nag-offer ng sacrifice na kay Lord, tinanggap ni Lord. Yung isa hindi, eto nangyari. We will read from Genesis 4, verse 7. Sabi ni Lord, Kay Cain, You will be accepted if you do what is right. Smile at the friend next to you and tell that person, Do what is right. Selos or no selos, do what is right. Ingit or no ingit, do what is right. Kasi pag may pinagseselos, Nako, yun na may pinagsosulosan ka at kinaingit ang nang sarap patayin. I'm going ahead of our schedule. But if you refuse to do what is right, ay ito mangyayari, then watch out. Sabi mo sa kato mo, watch out! Okay, let's read together. Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you. But you must subdue it and be its master. 
place your hand over your heart and say this with me Lord thank you for the breakthrough of your word envy and jealousy is something that must not control me it's something that I can control in Jesus name let us honor the word everybody As a custom here in Peace Valley, where the first time attendees don't get shocked, people hug each other here. Okay, so go around to find the seven people around you. Shake their hand, hug them. Here we go. Kasi kay Rod Stewart to pang mga ikang ano mga waray, mga lagas na ka, mga kagaya sa imo. Kasi mas popular yung selos. Meron ba dito kumakanta ng selos? Music ministers? Ana, kaya? Sino na dito nag-selos? Raise your hand away! Di pa tapos, oh. Sino dito ang kagaya kong aminadong seloso at selosa? Oh my gosh, hindi pala ako nag-iisa. Before I declare the one big message, I'm gonna confess to you how seloso your brother Obet is. Meron dating parang radical, we call it Men of Jesus. And we are the youth leaders, ayun si Mami Joy, nakamasid, baka may mali ako may kwento. All of the youth leaders in Kamanabaha. Alam niyo yung Kamanabaha? Kaloocan, Malabon, Navotas, Valenzuela. We gather and they could sense, sabi niyo, holy yata to si Brother Ovid. Until I dropped the bomb. Ask me, what bomb? Sabi ko mga bros, may nililigawan ako. Woo! Ganun din sila. Uh, mga bros, baka kasi crush nyo rin siya eh. Sino? Sino? Brother Ovet? Si Sister Joy. Woo! Sigaw! Crush nga nila. Okay lang yung brother. Eh di, um, uh, may the best man win. Sabi ko, yun yung problema natin. Sabi nila, bakit? Sabi ko, nagpapakabait ako. Hinil na ako ni Lord sa violence. Pero itong problema ko, napakaseloso ko. Kaya pag andyan si, si Sister Joy at nakita ko kayo, lumayo-layo kayo. Kasi seloso talaga ako. Kaya, eh si Mami Joy, alam niyo naman, napaka-comely, napaka-friendly. So minsan may, may grupo ng mga brothers. Tapos siya yung klase ng girl, hirap nung kalagayan ko kayo, honey. Hirap nung kalagayan ko. 
siya yung klase ng girl na approachable sa mga gentlemen. So, siya yung gustong kausap. Siyempre, nako, umamin kayo mga lalaki. Pag maganda ka harap nyo, di ang sarap ka usapin. Anyways, nakapaligid kay Mami Joy, grupo. Tapos ito na, oh. ewan ko kung may spy sila. Pag pumasok na ako doon sa hall, sa prayer meeting or sa chapel, parang mga daga, pup, pulasan sila, nawawala. So, dire-direcho kay Mami Joy. Tapos kahit nung kami na, di magka-HHWW, may pa-SS, Allo, yes, holding hands while walking, may pa-sway-sway pa along the seashore. Siyempre, sosyal yung aming pinupuntahan sa Grand Central. <laughs> Hindi pa siya SM noon. Tapos, may mga kasalubong kami. Nagde-date din. Magka-akbay. Tapos, meron talagang ganung lalaki. Hindi ko naman tinitingnan yung kadate niya. Alata ba yung angas? <laughs> tinitingnan si Mami Joy. Mula ulong, gampa, katawan. Pati katawan, titingnan. Tapos, pag nagkasalubong kami, tinitingnan girlfriend ko. Eh, syempre, na kay Lord na. O, kausapin ko siya. Bubulungan ko yung tenga niya. Ito, bu- ito bubulong ko. Gusto mong higuping ko yung mata mo? Ganun siya. Oh. Napakaseloso ko. Hanggang sobrang natoxican na si Mami Joy, ibulong mo sa katabi, nakakatoxic pala sa elos. Sinumbong ako sa mga alagad ng batas. Tanuin niyo ako, sino sila? Nanay ko at tatay ko. <laughs> Pag duwi ko, kala ko, hindi ko akalaing andun siya sa bahay. Pag uwi ko, umiiyak si Mami Joy andun. Ang sumalubong tatay ko, starter. Ikaw, nagka-girlfriend ka na nga na maganda, hindi mo pa rin inaayos. Sabi ko, ba't gusto akong sapakin nito? Buti na lang andyan mga nanay. Alam mo kasi anak, siloso ka eh. Tapos dahil paliwanag, pinangaralan ako, iyak ng iyak si Mami Joy, nasasakal na daw siya, ibibreak na daw ako. Naku, gusto, gustong magunaw ng mundo ko nung ibibreak ako ng isang binibini na tanging nagpatibok ng puso ko. Tapos hanggang sinabi ng nanay ko yung hanggang ngayon, hindi ko makakalimutan, baka kailangan yung marinig. Sabi niya, anak, ang selos ay lason sa relationship niyo. Tingnan mo kaming mag-asawa. Kailang kami nagkaselosan. Mula nun, kinontrol ko na talaga ang selos. Ang inggit. Hala, may mga mag-walk out na. Wait, i-clarify natin to. Selos, the feeling, pakiulit, the feeling, is normal. O, oh, hinga, hinga na na malalim. Ay... Kasi pag mahal mo, magsiselos at magsiselos ka. Si Mami Joy, hindi selosa sa tao. Selosa yan sa activities ko. Biro mo, may isasubmit akong term paper. <laughs> Tapos sabi niya, yan, puro sulat, puro sulat. Sabi ko, di ba, nagdo-doctoral studies ako, honey. Yan, puro sulat, maghapon, ganyan, sulat. Tapos hanggang nakuha niya na yung cellphone ko, maya-maya inaccess na yung ano ko, Lazada. Nag-order. Shopee, nag-order. So, dire-direcho ako ng sulat. May momentum ako eh. Kasi, procrastinator ako mga kapatid eh. So, habang andyan yung energy, sulat lang. Nung pinupunta na yung aking online banking, sabi ko, sige, tutulog na rin ako. Mga kapatid, it's okay to feel jealous. It's okay to feel envy. As a feeling. This is not in the slides, but I want to warn you. Jealousy and envy Ika-clarify dito sa talk, but sometimes they are interchangeable. Tama? Usually, yung envy, the feeling about circumstance. Pero, uh, may, pag may kinalaman sa attraction, may halong jealous. Jealousness or what. Pero, the point is, if jealousy and envy are just feelings, ulitin mo sa katabi mo, just feelings. I think it's Okay. But if it will become a cage, kulungan, then I tell you, jealousy and envy will become so toxic, you'll destroy the emotions of the person you love, and you destroy the emotion of yourself. That's why the one big message is this, and trust your desires to God. Pakiulit sa katabi. 
Kasi jealousy and envy is a desire. I'm a professor of religion, faith, and values. And in every semester, I highlight the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit as declared by the church. And I counter it with the seven deadly sins. At isa sa deadly sin ay envy. Karayim niya yung Tagalog, envy, ingit. Siyensya na kayo, waray-waray, magkarayim yan eh. Sige, tingnan natin to. What is jealousy? Jealousy is that uncomfortable feeling of seeing someone have something you want but don't have. Kaya yun yung kanta ni Rod Stewart kanina. Some guys get all the love, but sila meron. But ako wala. Dapat pala may Tagalog version yan. Yung kanta ni Gary. Walaan nyo kung ano. Gary G. Pwede o bet, Gary V. Hindi. Gary G. Granada. Hindi Balenciano. Narinig nyo na to, pero for the sake of those who will hear it, In the context of envy and jealousy, ito yon. Mabuti pa ang mga surot, may nasi siksikan. Mabuti pa ang lumang tissue, umaasang babalikan. Ay, mabuti pa ang tinapa, siya'y may kayakap na papel di tulad ko, lagi na lang. Nag-iisa. ba? Diba? At ang dami ng umama na composer at saka mga banda dahil kumanta ng about jealousy and envy. Uh, Fis Valle Verde, forgive me, I'm a very expressive person. Maya-maya nahuhuli niyo ako na pinapapak ko si Mami Joy. Lalo na anniversary namin. And please, don't impose that to your boyfriend and to your husband. Kasi hindi lahat expressive. But the real point is, loyal ba? Kasi ba mga maya, pinaka-expressive na tao, di naman loyal. Yes? So jealousy is that uncomfortable feeling na gusto ko meron din noon, bakit siya meron? Kaya nung, nung pandemic, meron ako napanood, it's a super sad ad about Camp Bigo. Pero hindi pa yung movie. Kasi silang mga bigo sa pag-ibig nagsama-sama. Dalawang lalaki, dalawang babae. Pero habang sila ay nagta-travel, nag, nag, nag uh, ano, resentment sharing, nagkagustuhan yung dalawa. At galit na galit yung isa. Hindi pwedeng kayo magka-relationship. Bawal! Who told you that? Who told you na bawal? Singles. Hindi porke nakakamove on ng iba at nata-attract yung iba. Bawal na. Yung... I believe that there are stages in jealousy and envy. Nagsisimula lahat sa, I want what you have. Pakiulit nga sa katabi. Sana ganyang ka- kagaling magsalita. Sana ganyang kapogi. Sana ganyang katangkad. Sana, I want what you have. Pero ang malala, para sa akin, ang pinakamalala, if I don't have it, you don't have the right to have it too. Yun ang pinakamalupit. Dadaan pa sana tayo, but it's not in the outline. I better just... Go forward. Nagsisimula sa, I want what you have. Pero lumalala sa, wala kang karapatang magkaroon ng ganyan. Wala kang karapatang yumaman. Ito, ito pinamasaklab sa lahat. Wala kang karapatang sumaya. Wow. Is jealousy different from envy? At least in our discussion, ito sabi, when the feelings of jealousy includes feelings of hostility towards the person, who has what you want, that's no longer jealousy, that's envy. Pero alin-alin man yan, kasi interchangeable ngayon dalawa, are you listening? Pag nagsisimula ka ng maasar, magalit, at tinatawagan mo na, na tinatawag mo na ng ibang pangalan yung taong kinaiinggitan mo, o pinagseselosan mo, I have to be honest, When envy and jealousy happens to me, natatawag ko yung tao ng timang, ungas. Yun na, that's, that's the, the least that I can do. Dati may mura pa yan, itong PI na to. Tingnan ng katabi, sulyap lang, para alam niya lang nagmamasid ka sa kanya. Kasi walang excuse dito. Kahit yung pinaka-accomplished na na tao sa buong mundo, he doesn't have 
everything in life. Narinig-rinig ko nga, kasi may mga taong papanalunin kapag ka may Christmas raffle o mab- mabilis na lang, Christmas na. Sabi niya, ano naman, panalo na naman niya. Alam mo, dinig na dinig ko, sabi ng isa, oo, pero mga mahilig manalo dyan, magkaling manalo, walang swerte sa love life. Wow! Talagang kinunek. Akbayan ang katabi. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, pag pinepersonal mo na, ang selos at inggit, nagiging toxic ka na. Palakpahan natin si Lord. Don't get me wrong ha, mamaya ikakwalify natin to. Kasi to feel envy with some projects that succeeded, that launched already, okay lang yung feeling na yan. To, to, to see a role model doing the best of what he can. Ikaw ba, Brother Robert, na, naiingit ka kay Brother Bo? Of course. Nagsaselos ka ba? Of course. Pero it's now becoming a healthy feeling. Kasi pwede. O as early as now ha, kinaklarify na natin. Genesis 4.47 When it was time for the harvest, ito na yung kinikwento ko. Nag-offer daw si Cain. Cain was a farmer. And then Abel was a shepherd. Itong pagkakaiba. Abel also brought a gift, the best portions of the firstborn lambs from his flock. Akbayan ang katabi. Sabihin mo, magbibigay ka na rin lang. Ibigay mo na ang the best mo. Okay, I have a question. You give a clap offering to the Lord if your answer is yes. Is this the best of your presence? You're 100% here? If you are, give the Lord a big, big hand. Is this the best clap offering that you can give? Because if you're not offering the best, you'll be singing that, I did my best. You'll live in regret. Ito na. Ito naman ang dilemma if you're doing your best and giving talks, in treating people, in praying over, in your music, in whatever you do. You're giving your best, my downside. Ask me what? Lagyan nyo ng angas yung what? What? Ito na. Kaiingitan ka. Any person who's holding the microphone is doing the best of what they can will be envied. Other people will feel jealous of you. Kaya ingat-ingat ka pag may trigger ka sa mga post mo sa Facebook at sa Instagram. Baka may naiingit, may mga trigger Because some people really con- cannot contain you becoming successful. Wow, Brother Robert, may ganyan. Yes! There are people who are so toxic, they cannot stand you becoming successful. Kasi dati-dati, tingnan ang katabi. Isang batang paslit na uhugin ka lang. Hindi nila matanggap na naungusan mo sila. Ito nangyari. The Lord accepted Abel and his gift, but He did not accept Cain and his gift. This made Cain very angry, and he looked dejected. Akbayan ng katabi. Sabihin mo, yung lungkot mo, lungkot ba talaga yan? O naiingit ka? O oh, nagsiselos ka. Okay. Qualify natin. Tuloy natin yung scripture. Why are you angry? Nagtanong si Lord. The Lord asked Cain. Hindi siya nagsalita. Malungkot pa rin siya. Lungkot-lungkutan. Kasi bait-baitan. Ingat kayo sa bait-baitan. Tanungin niyo ako bakit. Baka mara- makarating kayo sa langit-langitan. Hindi totoong langit. Why do you look dejected? Ibig sabihin ba't ang lungkot mo? You will be accepted if you do what is right. Kaya kahit nagsaselos ka, kahit naiingit ka, gawin mo pa rin ang tama. Dati, ikaw, Brother Obet, napapansin ko sa'yo, sabi ng isang uh, senior preacher, tuwing may bababa sa stage, nag-pray, sabi mo, galing mo, God bless, na-bless kami, galing talaga. Hindi ganun. Huwag ganun, brother. Sabi ko, bakit? Baka lumaki ang ulo nila. Tinginan ko na may ulo. Same pa rin naman. May mga taong sobrang kuripot sa affirmation, nakakasakit na sila ng damdamin. Kaya, wait. If you do not receive the affirmation that is due to you, there are times when you have to reparent yourself. At sabi mo sa, you did, you did good. Tawagin mo sa first name pangalan mo, Obet, you did good and that's good. At wag mo na i-post, Obet, you did good. Wag na, tama na yun. 
Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi lahat pinupost sa Facebook. Okay. You will be accepted if you do what is right, but if you refuse to do, ayan, ito ang envy and jealousy. Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you. Kaya deadly ang inget, kaya deadly ang envy, it's enough to destroy your life. If you're a passive-aggressive, ano ibig sabihin ng passive-aggressive? Yung, yung nagmumukmuk ka lang, pinapanood ang mga bagay-bagay at nasasaktan ka. You're gonna destroy yourself. Pero if you're an actively aggressive person, gagawa ka ng mga bagay-bagay para masabotahe yung mga tao. At minsan, hindi nila alam na sinasabotahe mo sila. Diyos ko, bakit ba pag nagpipreach dito, naaalala ko, Lord, mga kalokohan ko. Ang taas-taas ng grade nung isa kong classmate sa Math 17. Math 17 pa lang yun, ha? yun lang kaya ng Math ko. Tapos tulog sa klase tong classmate ko na to. Pag nag exam perfect. Pag nag recite magaling pa sa teacher. Tapos sabi ng teacher, si Professor Mayoralgo. <laughs> Buhay pa siya. Okay, class, babagsak kayong lahat kasi ang taas-taas ng standing ng klaseng to. Kasi perfect si Mr. Ganito. Because Lord, kailangan. Ay, wala pala akong Lord. Kailangan na gumawa ng paraan. Alam nyo, ginawa ko, hinaras ko yung tao sa male CR. Kinuwelyo ang ko, pag ikaw, nag-100 ka pa, sasamain ka. Nung nag-exam kami, 80 yung grade niya. Children, don't imitate my old life. Pero yan ang nangyayari pag ingitero, ingitera, siloso, siloso ka. This emotion can control you. Place your hand over your heart and let's look up to God. Sabi mo, Lord, help. Lalong-lalo na pag wala ng kont control, sorry. <laughs> ang selos o ingit ko. So help me God. Let's give the Lord a big hand, everybody. Am I connecting? Gusto nyo bang dinidiscuss to? Napakahirap kasi naaalala ko ngayon mga hassle ko. How does envy work? Instead of entrusting your desires to God, envy drives our desire to consume us. Nabanggit na sa inyo ni Sister Itchel, yung word na consume, dun galing ang consume. Pag wala kang mission, magkakaroon ka ng consumisyon. This will consume you, eat you up from within. You realize that your unmet expectation pales in comparison how gracious God has been to you. Pag nagsimula ka na nagselos, pag nagsimula ka ng mainggit, nabubulag ka sa napakadaming biyaya ng Diyos sa'yo. Sample, nung first time ka nag... O oh, sige na nga, ako na lang. First time ako nagdadrive. Kami kasi ni Mami Joy, uh, mag, mag nobyo nobyo pa lang kami. Ang ganda ng word na yun. Meron na kaming sasakyan. Eh, ingit kaya. <laughs> hindi, hindi. Ito nangyari, drive ako. Sabi ko, Lord, okay talaga to. Hanggang natabihan ako ng nakakotse din. Na kontemporaryo ko nung high school. Bago yung kotse, ang gwapo-gwapo niya. Eh, hey, Cabrillas, what you doing there? Skus lang pa tong mokong na to, see? The negative label that I put, wala namang ginagawa ng tao. Tapos alis siya. Biglang, ito nangyari sa akin. Ay, ang luma ng auto ko. Puk, 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 puk. Pa, ako, kawawa naman ako. Okay sana hanggang nagkumpara. That's the height of this social epidemic called comparisonitis. Pakiulit sa katabi. Yan ang ginagawa ng inggit. Yan ang ginagawa ng selo sa atin. Kaya ang nangyayari, nabubulag tayo sa mga biyaya ng Diyos sa iyo. You want, to, you want me to prove that you are blessed beyond compare? Sabi nyo, prove it. Gently, slowly, dramatically, look at the friend beside you. Look. Ang dami mga taong gusto makasama yung katabi mong yan. Pero ikaw ang pinili niyang kaibigan. Yan ang greatest blessing ni Lord sa iyo. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Mga anak, children, youth, and teenagers, make some noise. Ang dami-daming reklamo sa mga magulang. Gusto nyo palitan ni Lord yung magulang na yan? 
You're so blessed that God has given you a wonderful, amazing, fantastic parents. Palakpa natin sa Lord. Wives, make some noise. Ngayon, natakot kayo, ano? Ang dami mong reklamo kay husband. Palagi nakikita lahat ng negative. Burara. Malimali. Pabaya sa finances. Gastador. Pag nagkasakit si husband, I tell you, iiyak ka. Sana magbalik na lang yung dati kahit marami siyang ano. I, I got this from a wife who lost the husband. Sabi niya, kulit ng husband ko. Lahat na na-negative, ginagawa niya. Pero bro, pag nawala na pala, mamimiss mo lahat ng kabalastugan niya. Miss na miss ko siya, gagawin ko ang lahat para babalik lang siya. Sabi ko, wala nang bumabalik. Si Lord lang. Tsaka si Lazarus. Kaya wives, brothers, para sa inyo ito. Habang andyan si husband, honor the man. Look at the positive side. Don't compare. Don't be jealous. Yes? Tama ba ako, husbands? Ladies, gusto yung kausapin ko sila? Kayo naman. <laughs> yung sinasamba-samba mo dati, nagmakaawa ka pa para sagutin ka. Ngayon, pag nagkwento ka sa kaibigan mo, parang siya yung nagmakaawa sa'yo. Ang gwapo mo naman, Brad. Alam mo, ba't kayo, ba't kayo kinasan? Kasi may nag-away. Sabi, sabi nung, nung lalaki, ay nung baba, sabi nung husband, how can somebody so beautiful can be as stupid as you are? Grope naman. Sabi ng babae, kala nyo mananalo tayo sa ganyan sa babae? Hindi, sabi niya, uh, I'm intelligent, that's why you're attracted to me. And I'm stupid, that's why I'm attracted to you. Wala tayong kalaban-laban. ba? Diba? Please appreciate what you have. Three ways, jealousy <laughs> becomes a problem. Are you with me? First, when jealousy leads to obsessiveness. Alam ninyo, inaral ko, uh, something in me needs to be addressed. Siyempre, dati kong criminal. So, sometimes I, uh, not that I want to do, pero I'm fascinated with criminality. And may nakikita akong pattern. Yung mga pumatay ng celebrity, they are the number one fan. You know why they kill the celebrity? Si Elvis, at kung sino-sino pa. Ask me why. They want to possess the celebrity to the point na kung hindi sila mapapasakin, mas magandang wag silang mapakinabangan ng iba. That's obsessiveness. To that extent, ayan no, sabi ni William Shakespeare, Beware my lord of jealousy, it is the green-eyed monster which doth mock the meat that it feeds on. Kaya yung word na green with envy came from Shakespeare. Why green? Ask me why. Because it's tarnish that destroys copper. Kaya yung pagkatarnish ng iyong saya, Pag nagsimula ka ng mainggit, mawawalan ka na ng saya at ligaya. The peace of mind and happiness is just celebrating when others are accomplishing. Kahit may selos ka, kahit may inggit ka. Malinaw? Next, when jealousy leads to envy. Of course, again, interchangeable yan, pero ibabasahin ko lang to. When jealousy becomes envy, we resent the person who has what we want. Brother Obet, Anong gusto mong gawin sa mga pinagseselosan mo dati? Naku, lahat ng violence na kaya kong gawin. Pagka may nginitian lang si Mami, noon to ha, noon to, noon to. May nginitian lang si Mami Joy, gusto ko nang barugin yung mukha nung, lalo na mas matangkad sa akin, yan na, yan na yung issue, lalo na mas pogi sa akin. Alam nyo ba, ang ideal man ni Mami Joy, wait, Look at me, from head to toe. Hindi ito. <laughs> Lahat ng kabaliktaran nito, yun ang ideal naman ni Mami Joy. Matangkad, mistiso, gwapo, matangos, ang ilong mukhang mayaman na wala pang, wala pang sinasabi. Tapos ang pangasawa niya, mahal siya. 
Number three, ayan na, when jealousy leads to self-pity. Uh, sa tingin ko, ito pinakamalungkot. If you get stuck in jealousy, you feel bad about yourself permanently. Nagsiself-pity ka na, buti pa sila, meron. Tapos, sasabihin mo pa sa husband mo, tayo, kailan ba tayo mag-around the world? Kailan tayo mag-around the world? Last time, di ba nag-round trip to Cubao tayo? Pwede na yun. Kawawa naman yung husband na pressure. Okay. Be honest, ladies. Part of your being a woman is being emotional. Pag sumusumpong yung ND, i-qualify nyo sa mister nyo. Sabihin nyo, uy, no pressure. Mag-share lang ako ng inggit ko. Kasi otherwise, yung mga lalaki hindi nagsasalita. Pero baka gumawa ng krimen bukas. Maka-around the world ka lang. Di ba? So please qualify. Wala tong pressure sa'yo ha. Pero kung tatablan ka rin lang, tablan ka na. Minsan ganun eh. The point is, the woe is me. Yun yun eh. Kawawa naman ako, kawawa naman ako. Attitude leads to self-sabotage where you consciously destroy your future. One of my coaches Tuwing nag advance na yung kanyang success, nagsa-self-sabotage siya. Tapos there was a point, I really challenged the person, pero bumitaw na sa coaching. Yes, some people avail of the coaching as a process, and I love that. Some people would want to avail quick quick fix, isang best lang. Pero the point is, nakita ko na eh, napag-aralan ko yung nangyayari sa kanya eh. Nagsa-self-sabotage siya kasi ang baba ng tingin niya sa sarili niya. Can you imagine, things will get worse if you have low self-worth and you are envious and you are jealous. Kaya, may isa akong book na nabasa, ang tawag doon, Child Potential. If you want to read, it's Child Potential by Theodore Isaac Rubens. And it says there that the goal of every parent is to create and raise up children with strong self-worth. Pag yung mga anak nyo, happy na sa pag-ibig nyo. Alam nyo, gusto kong... Naku, kailan ko ba sabihin to? Pag kayo, sobrang love-love-love nyo yung mga bata, hindi mapaghanap. Nakita ko yung sapatos ni Reese. Sabi ko, anak, bilhin tayong bago. No, 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 it's still okay. Still okay. So, you want daddy to have this song? Yung patay, patay. Sige, daddy. Ayos na, nasira na naman. Sabi ko, kahit anong pigil nito... Bibili na namin ng bagong sapatos. May mga bata na happy na. Okay na. That's the goal of every parenting. Kayo na magkusa na i-bless sila. Huwag, kayo, huwag tayong maging wais na mga parents. Tanoy niyo ko, ano yun? Humihingi ng liman libo yung anak mo. May activity daw. Sabi mo, 4,000? Alam mo, gano'ng kahirap yung mag-raise ng 3,000? Pambira naman yung school nyo, hingi ng hingi ng 2,000. Samantalang, ano ba meron ako? 1,000. Ang hirap ng buhay. Yung 500, pag susumikapang kaya, ang ending nun, bibigyan ng 20 pesos. Ang galing. Paano nangyari yun? So, let's move on. Jealousy is a deeply unpleasant feeling, but it's full of potential. Hinga na malali. At sabihin natin, Hi. Meron pala siyang purpose. May layunin yung inggit sa buhay natin. At ito yon Apat muna. Let's just browse through this. Gift number one of jealousy, you discover your core desires. Kasi pag nagselos ka, at saka nag- nainggit ka, ay, gusto ko pa rin yun. Gusto ko rin pala yun. Gusto ko pa rin palang mag-aral uli. Gusto ko palang magturo. Gusto ko ma-overcome ang aking glossophobia at makapag-speak in public din. So be honest with what you feel. May pinapakitan jealousy. Pakilike. Ayaw ah. Pag nainggit ka, pinapakita, may gusto ka talaga mangyari. Next, hindi lang yun. Irespeto mo rin pangalawa. Discover your dark desires too. Kasi pag pinipintasan mo na, biro mo, pinsan mo, classmate mo, mabait naman. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi ka naman inaano. Hindi ka naman inaano. Di ba? Halimbawa, if you see the, the, the post of April, and April can sing so well, tapos ikaw alam mong pag kumakanta ka, parang nilalaga rin yero. Ano sabi mo? Hindi hm, naman siya ganun kagaling. 
Hindi pa masyadong bitter. May dark side tayo. Akbayan ng katabi. Sabihin mo, close naman tayo, di ba? Safe space tayo, di ba? Pag gumagana na dark side ko, tulungan mo ko. Take me out of the dark. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Ayan, gusto ko yung number three. Discover you're made for more. Ay nako, meron din kasi mga taong ayaw ng mangarap. Hanggang may nakita siyang, like dati, I have to be honest, si Mami Joy may nakakwentuhan na nagmasteral na officer niya. Tapos through me, spak sa akin, hon, ba't di ka magmasteral? Alam mo, kaya mo. Kung nananahimik po, manhala na nga sa UP ng walang singko, tapos pag-aaralin mo ulit. Kaya lang wala akong magawa, ask me why. Hindi niya daw ako pakakasalan pag hindi ko natapos yung masteral ko. Hindi nag-aaral. Tapos yung pala kaya ko. Kaya husbands, wives, parents, children, baka yung nakaka-offend sa'yo, direction na pala ni Lord para mag-improve ang buhay mo. Bulong mo sa katabi. Ay, huwag mong tingin katabi mo. Parinig mo lang. Huwag ka simpikon. Yan! Discover you're made for more. Then, discover it's time to act. What do you act about? Ask me what? Which brings me to the seven steps when we feel jealous. Are you still with me? May mga liwanag bang sumisilay sa inyong mga isip? Ano mga steps? We have barely eight minutes. Step number one, name your jealousy. Because what you name, you can tame. Say it again. Pangalana mo, I have to be honest with you. Isa sa mga kinaingitan ko, nakilala nyo, ay si Migs Ramirez. I'm the trainer of this man. Tahimik siya all throughout the radical training. Nasabi ko, o ngayon, ang gagawin nyo, you have to preach five minutes. Nag-talk. Si Migs, pati mga pare, huminto. Pati mga halaman, nakinig. Tapos hindi man lang makapalakpak, natulala, na-hypnotize yung mga kabatch niya sa Radical One. And to be honest with you, bilib na bilib ako kay Migs, pero sabi ko, how can a man could preach that way tapos maamo yung muka? Migs is summa cum laude in his theology. Did I sin because I envied Migs Ramirez? No. Nainggit lang ako, and that's it. Pero I have to name it, Lord, nainggit ako kay Migs, ha? O, oh, wag gagawin ngayon. Mamaya, pag uwi nyo mag-asawa, ginagawa nyo ba itong mag-asawa? Pa-uwi, nagmumuni-muni kayo. Magmuni-muni, wag mag-away, ha? Kasi yung iba, sabi ni Barry Ovet, i mo daw. Name mo na. Sige, name. Wag ganun, ha? Oh. Step number two, ayan na, be vulnerable with people you trust. And I put there the sunshine principle. Ask me, what's that? The sunshine principle is this. Lahat ng mga fungus, lahat ng mga parasites, when not exposed to the sun, will, will become graver than before. Lalala. Kaya humanap ka ng safe space, humanap ka ng safe place, siya ba si boyfriend, siya ba si best friend, siya ba si LG, siya ba si youth corner. Palakpakan ng youth corner. Because young people, including my children, are waiting for Sunday just to have their youth corner. The sunshine principle. You don't show it, it will rot, and it will destroy you from within. You show it in the sunshine of God's grace, in the presence of people who love you. Yung yung safe place, then you will be cured. You will be healed. Kaya kailangan mo ng LG. Kahit gano'ng katalino, kahit gano'ng kakaaccomplish, you need a safe space. Practice sa katabi. Sabi mo, can, can I be your safe space? Step number three. Ito, masak, masaklap to. Ay, hindi, hindi. Mamaya pa pala. Thank God for what you have. I'll be sharing with you one life principle that I have. And the principle is called, be grateful for what you have while working for what you want. Alam niyo, tuwing may pinupost yung UP na, uh, this person so-and-so has successfully presented an oral presentation of their dissertation. Ko, yan na, yan na, yan na, yan na, yan na. Naingit ako, oo. I'm jealous of the people. Pero it spurs me to 
go for it all the more. Yes? Be happy. Be grateful for what you have. Ano bang meron ka? Pasalamat ka na. Diyos ko, elementary pa lang mga anak mo, kinukumpere mo sa mga nakagraduate na yung anak. Malayo pa. Wag. Okay? But work with what you want. Gusto mo yun pag sumikapan mo. Step number four, this is so painful. Ask me what? Thank God for other people's blessing. Why can't you just be happy that people are being blessed? Pag nasa Facebook at pag nasa Instagram, nakita mo date ng date ng mga to. Be happy. Uy, nagde-date sila. Ganun. Just be happy. Uy, milyonaryo na. Uy, may bago ng property. Uy, may bagong mostang. Uy, nagbali. Kahit ikaw, balintawak lang. Yes. Ayan. Noon ko pang sinishare, sana maging kultura. When tempted to say, Sana all. We must say, I'm next. Kinakasal yung iba, singles. Ayan ka na, sana. I'm next. Ganun dapat. Di ba? Napopromote yung iba kaysa i-chismis mo. Nandaya lang. Matatem ka na. Pa, sana all ka na. I'm next. Because that's life. Life happens in sequence. Wait for your turn. Is one of the most powerful learning that you will have. Smile at the friend next to you and tell that person, wait for your turn. At sumagot ka ng, I'm next. Lahat dito na, I'm next. Make some noise. Say it. One, two, three. I'm next. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Uy, wait, wait. May nararamdaman ako that the spirit of becoming multimillionaires is coming. Coming. Oh, yeah. Step number five, purify your desires. Yes, you will be millionaires. Peace, Bali, Verde. Amen? But purify your desire. Kasi sabi sa James 2 verse 3, even when you ask, you don't get it because your motives are all wrong. Nung unang-unang humiling ako sa Diyos na sana magka Harley Davidson akong motor, hindi natupad. Kasi na-disgrasya ako sa una kong pagbumotor. Pero muntik na ma-disgrasya, hindi sa disgrasya, kundi sa tatay ko. Tanoy niyo ako, bakit? Nagmotor ako, full speed, tapos niramp ako, boom! E nung makikita kong masisira, binitawang ko yung motor, tapos nagtumbling ako. Buhay ako, sira yung motor. Pauwi sa bahay, nakaganong tatay ko. Sabi ko, mukhang madidisgrasya ako kay tatay. May ko tayo patawad po. Nasaktan ka ba? <laughs> Hindi po. Gumain ka dun. Tapos inayos niya yung motor. Diba? Kaya hindi ako binigyan ni Lord ng Harley Davidson. What did I have? Ask me what? A strong body. Kaya everyday nagja-jogging ako. And I, I run a marathon after one and a half years. Palakpaan natin si Lord. Purify your desire. Step six, pursue your God-given desires. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to the standards of this world. Pag sinabi ng mundo na, Ay nako, uh, dapat ito maging jowa mo. Uh, uh, you're not in love with the gender. You're in love with the person. Standard ng mundo. Walan, meron na daw divorce. I don't care whether it's implemented, but the law of the Lord will stay. And we stay in that kingdom in Jesus' name. We don't conform to the standards of the world. Tingnan ng katabi. Tapos sabi mo, dahil hindi ka pang world na to. You are an alien like me. Kasi pang heaven tayo, right? Palakpakan ng mga taga-heaven. Do not be conformed to the standards of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. Pag will ni Lord na mag-move on, move on. Pag will ni Lord mag-aral ka uli, mag-aral. Pag will ni Lord may kausapin kang tao kahit matigas ang ulo, just obey. Last but not least, form long-term habits. Sabi ni John Dryden, we first make our habits, then our habits make us. Kaya if you have self-defeating habits, unsyamihin nyo na yung kagat because if only a ninja can destroy a ninja, only a habit can destroy a habit. 
Nagsimula ako mag-push-ups nung ayoko ng manigarilyo. Ako, hindi ako mahigpit. Yung mga naninigarilyo dito, go ahead, no problem. Pero muntik na akong mamatay nung nag-yoyosip ako. Kaya mga naninigarilyo dito, sige, yosi lang. Pero ako, muntik na akong mamatay. So again, hindi ako mahigpit. Yung mga nag dito, yosi lang. Vape lang. Vape pa more. Pero ako, muntik na akong mamatay. Hindi, <laughs> makakasama yun. Everybody stand up. We're about to end. Dig into your jealousy. Many times you'll find a subtle accusation that God owes you something. Wala kang, walang utang si Lord sa'yo. God owns everything in you. Amen? I want to end by sharing with you. Alam nyo naman, when I studied philosophy of education, I became so familiar with etymology. Pag-aaral ng mga salita. Ginagawang dinidemonify ang selos. Eh, ang etymology nito maganda. I want you to see the screen. The Greek for jealousy is actually zelos. Zeal. Zealous. So pag nagsiselos ka, palitan mo ng energy na nakabubuti. Because zealousness means enthusiastic devotion. Are you enthusiastically devoted to attend the feast every Sunday? That's the best thing to do. Palakpakan natin si Lord. And to highlight this, sin is crouching at the door, sabi sa Genesis 4 to 7. But the point is, you must subdue it and be its master. Say it to yourself, I am a master of all my emotions. I can make positive out of envy. Say it. And act positively in the midst of jealousy. Uh, this is the last point before we worship. You ask the Holy Spirit as we worship to change your compulsion into conviction. The compulsion is, you maman, you maman, you maman. Magkajowa, magkajowa, magkajowa. Ah, magkasixpack lahat. No, no, no. Change it to conviction to do something good that will bless the world. Jealousy is negative, but zealousness is positive. I'll, Lord, I want to pray for your people. Allow a spiritual physics to happen to all of us. That our emotions that are geared, geared towards negative will be turned into positive. As we worship, healing will take place. Compulsion will be transformed to conviction in Jesus' name. And you will say, Amen. Give the Lord a big hand, everybody. And we continue to acknowledge the presence of your Father. If you're comfortable to open your hands and reach out to Him, if you're open to bow down, and just feel His presence this afternoon. Father God, we thank You for reaching out to our hearts through the Gospel, through the words spoken, through the talk. Panginoon, Kailangan ka po namin. This earthly world we live in try to shade us sa mga bagay na you have designed us to be. Dearest Lord, hear the intentions of our hearts. Align it with your will, with your ways. Purify our hearts, Lord God. Purify every intention we have, not just this afternoon, but every plan, every
of your desire every prayer intention that we carry this afternoon in your mighty and holy presence through the power of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit through the power of your name ever-loving and almighty Father we reach out to you like never before satisfy us please so that we continue to praise you acknowledge you and thank you as we wait for our turn gonna worship in the waiting and we're gonna cling more to your name for you're the one who can satisfy you're the one Introducing Table Talks, Community Recipes of Love.
Before we pray for your dreams, I'm going to share with you a very simple story. I know I was able to graduate elementary and receive the highest honor during my elementary, but I was not enjoying the honor because I know some people are better than me, so much better than me. Some people really could speak English so well. I was given a chance to read something in my class. I was made to read a liter literature piece. And I read it in the worst Tagalog intonation that I can. With all my R's pronounced as R, it was English, it was Carabao English. And then a classmate of mine read the piece with crisply spoken English. You know what? I envy you. Ingit na ingit ako ang galing mag-English nito. Sabi ko, sana. Sana ako din. And then I, I was approaching her after the class just to say, alam mo ang galing mo mag-English. She lashed, lashed out on me and say, hirap sa'yo ka brilyas, hindi ka wide reader. Ang sakit, tumatak yung label na yun na hindi ako wide reader. Tapos kung ano-ano na mga issue ni sinulat ko sa isip ko, the, the sad stories that I tell myself, hindi ako makapag-ingles, I cannot pronounce things well, mali-mali ako ng grammar, alta yung mga tao, mahirap ako, maralita. But you know what? The Holy Spirit is so powerful. My envy, I surrendered in many occasions. But Lord, one of these days, I'll be able to speak well. Itong si Brother Bo Sanchez, nilid siya ni Lord, na iwan ang Valle Verde at mag-launch ng fee sa PICC. Of all people na iwanan niya ako, so, I was forced to speak English every Sunday. Baka kala nyo, ganito nga din na mag-talk dito. Pag-aalis ka, mga bati ng tao, Bro, brother, we were blessed. Or minsan, I don't like your outfit. Minsan naman, more English, please. But you know what? Those, that wound was years back. Today, at age 51, I'm an international speaker and motivational writer. The man who is not well versed is now mas madaling mag English sa ibang bansa ba kaalan yong. But the things that we say to ourselves and the bad things that you spoke within you—that's the thing I want to rebuke right this very moment. Raise your both hands to the Lord. Bow down your heads. Cover us, Jesus, with your most precious blood because there's going to be deliverance today. All the bad words, all the negative words we spoke about ourselves, hindi na kami ayaman, hindi na makamove on, wala nang siseryoso sa amin, palagi na lang kaming toxic. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, remove all that. Remove all that and replace with virtues and goodness to the power of the Holy Spirit. Say this with me, my dear friends. Jesus, I'm walking towards you. I declare upon my life, body, soul, and spirit, one of these days, all my dreams will come true. In Jesus' name,
Before we sit down, can I invite you to just spread out both hands? I want to pray for your embrace. I want to pray for your arms because those arms will embrace somebody who's, who's so envious. Yung ingit na ingit, down na down sila sa self-worth nila. Lord, I want to pray for these arms that will soon embrace a person who feels so insecure. Let the parents embrace, be a healing balm to their children. Let the children's embrace become healing to their parents. Nawa, Panginoon, makasalanan to mga braso na ito, pero sa tulong ng iyong grasya, gawin yung instrumento, itong yakap na to, sa pagpapagaling ng mga taong nakakulong sa inggit, nakakulong sa selos. Lord, may you use our imperfect love to give unconditional love. Maybe the person is in our home, or we could, we could practice it today. Say this with me, Lord. Anoint my embrace. Heal somebody with insecurity, with jealousy, and envy. And envy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Open your eyes. Practice naman. Baka kailangan ng yakap ng katabi mo. Pag yakap mo, sabi mo, be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are you happy that you're able to attend today? Grabe tong series na to. Nang aano, na may personal. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Pero it's up to you. Pwede kayo mamaya pa umupo. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Daddy. Thank you for leading us to worship. Praise God po. Amen? Praise God. May mga tao na kinikilig pag kayo mga bilog na lamesa dumadaan sa gitna. <laughs> ako, isa, isa na ako dun. Sige, Crystal, may mga announcement. Yes. Ayan. So, for our announcements, this is for our LOJ Pastoral, the Light of Jesus Pastoral Care Center, or Ooh. LOJ PCC will be having a fundraising event featuring a black screening of Inside Out 2. Oy. Right? So this would be on June 22, 2024. That's a Saturday at 3 p.m. Don't was a Robinson's Galleria. Cinema 1. Wow. And so I think some of us already purchased na po. So this yes. event is very um, powerful and wonderful, Daddy, because it's an opportunity for us to promote um, mental health, emotional literacy, and as well um, as to help our LOJ pastoral care services. Peace Value Verde, you have you've been supporting Anawim, you've been supporting Jeremiah. You know, the pastoral care ministry is also an outreach. Please support this. Kahit hindi kayo makakapunta sa advanced screening, buy, ubusin nyo yung supply dito nila Itchel para uh, panrigalo nyo sa mga taong may pinagdadaanan, mga nag i So inside that is a very, very good material for us to grow. Amen? Sino dito matutuwa? Tingnan ang katabi. Sino dito matutuwa pag niregaluhan siya ng ticket sa inside out? Tas ang kamay. O, oh, ayan o. Oh. Sasaya yung katabi mo. Regaluhan mo siya mamaya ng inside out ticket. All right. Praise God. And of course, um, this fun um, raised movie um, will be uh, priced as at 650. So I think yeah. maybe food and I think drinks are included. Yes. And it's a free yeah. sitting. So let's purchase um, as soon as possible. And also to help um, promote na rin sa ating LOJ Pass. Yung halagang 650 pa naman, Chriselle, may magic yun eh. 
Hawakan mo yung 6.50. Daan ka sa mall. Paglabas mo, wala na. Wala. Pero bumili ka ng ticket, may mabibless na tao. Amen? Amen? Good. Amen. And for our next announcement, oops. Uy, Jewels Conference for all the ladies out here. Make some noise. Yeah, let's watch this video. on August 17 in the SMX Manila. It's time. Gusto mo narinig ba ba yung ano ko? Manila? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah di ba? Sumusobra pala pag minsan. It's time to get again and be filled with uplifting moments of beautiful sisterhood. Yeah. Kaya, Brother Obet, can we invite people who are not feasters? Pwede. Para mabless sila, mga ladies. Get your tickets today, jewelsconference.com. For any clarification, please don't hesitate to send us a message. Thank you and God bless. Okay. You want to add something? Jewels. Gentlemen, can you make some noise? The jewels came from the Feast Ortigas district. It originated. And I want you to know as early as now, the, the overall term for any male event today and in the future, it will be called the Forge. And we will begin it here and in the district. So, hindi pa, hello pa ito, pero I tell you, gentlemen, we will have our own event, all male, no holds barred discussion about manhood. If there is, will you attend, brothers? All right, give the Lord a big hand, everybody. Right, Dad? So, to continue on, ito naman po is called Jewels Be Kind. Uy. Um, Join the Be Kind Jewels chat time on June 28th. That's a Friday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. via Zoom. And Zoom. Would, okay. Right? And we would be having Dr. Michelle Alignay, Sis Itchel, um, to be part of our discussion that very night. So, I do hope um, you could register also with the link or you could scan the QR code. Here's the thing, sisters. The first 50 participants will get the chance to win Jules Conference tickets. Wow! Oh, right? First so, 50. Oh, Bravo. So, oh. True. So, parang yung entry, yung sa June 28, puts mo siyang entry sa August 17th. Galing. Sige. So, <laughs> Alright. Alright. And for our next announcement. Is there any first time attendee today? Hello? First time attendee, ngayon lang umatend. Or hindi ka na-pray the first time you attended, umabsent ka. Any first time attendee? Kayo ba mag invite Ayun, meron. Can we give a big hand to those who attended for the first time? Wow. Pe-pray namin kayo. Diyan lang kayo. May mga... Sino pa mga first time attendees? Umamin. Ay, there. There. Yes. Wow. Ayun, mga bagets ang umaten ngayon. Ipe-pray over namin kayo. Tsaka yung mga ayaw magpakilala na first time sila, ipipray. Meron din. Ayun. Can we give them a big hand, please? So, to those who attended today, can we give them a warm welcome, please? So, please stand up. We want to pray for you. At pagtapos ng prayer, mamaya before you leave, meron tayong pa coffee, meron tayong pa, pa cheese bread, at tingnan nyo yung kulay blue na bilog. We will give you a welcome gift. Let's pray for them. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Whoever is near you, just pray over them. Lord, salamat po. Ang dami mga bagets. Mga kaidad namin noon. Salamat po, Lord. We consecrate their present and their future. We declare, God, that today will be the day of their, of their walk to success. Keep them away from harm. 
anxiety and sin. At kung sila estudyante, Panginoon, paligiran niyo po ang buhay nila na mababait na mga teachers, instructors, at professors na bibigyan sila na mataas na grades para makabawi-bawi, para ma-promote din ang allowances nila, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ilayo niyo sila sa masasamang elemento ng lipunan, yung mga toxic na tao. I-bless niyo po ang kanilang puso. If they need to move on, if they need to heal, let there be healing today. And we declare that This will be the beginning of a beautiful life with you. This we all pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we give them a big, big hand, everybody? So, bago umuwi, mamaya, first time attendees, pupunta sa mga beautiful ladies na may hawak na asul na plato. Yan. Bibigyan namin kayo ng... Did you enjoy your feast today? Please, enjoy your light group. Here, God is speaking to you through the futile and broken me. God will speak to you, yes? But in your light group, in your feast light, it's your chance to speak back to God. Ibabalik nyo yun. Or a casual conversation with friends. Yun po ang ating ginagawa. Para lalo maging healthy ang ating uh, buhay spiritual. Alright, will you be here next Sunday? Yes! Everybody stand up. We will give to the Lord. We are worshiping the Lord every Sunday and every day. But I want you to know there's an aspect of worship that is often misunderstood. Ask me what? It's giving. We will be praying for your envelopes and I'll be asking you to bow down your heads because we will visualize. Raise up your envelopes, your love offering envelopes. I want you to bow down and I want you to avail of the grace of the Holy Spirit na ipakita sa inyo yung future. The future that you will be one of the biggest giver of this feast. That you will donate five figures, six figures, no problem. No comparison, no envy, no jealousy. Because today, God will bless you financially too. Lord, let there be opportunities for financial growth. Let there be promotion. Let there be closing of big transactions. Say this with me, one of these days, I will be a generous multi-millionaire in Jesus' name. Bless me more so I can give more. Everybody shout amen. Let's give to the Lord. Hallelujah. With smiles on our faces and joy in our heart, let's give back the praise, the thanks.